encoding the data table for the elastic energy experiment. So having done the energy analysis up top, I'm looking now down at this yellow portion where we're gonna record five different masses and we'll put in their starting height each time before we drop them and then we'll put their ending height. Next, we'll need to calculate their starting gravitational energy based on this. We know gravitational energy is mgh, so I'm gonna go ahead and say equals the mass, which is over here in D9, times gravity. We could write in 10, or to show off our skills, we could also click on B3, but I always want it to grab B3. So I'm gonna put dollar signs in front of the B and in front of the three. Then we need to multiply by the starting height. So go ahead and click on that. Enter zero because we don't have any numbers. I'll drag it down. And I'm going to go up here to view and just check that it worked. Show formulas. Oh, great. Yep. It's always using B3. Now we'll go and do the same thing for ending gravitational energy equals M. G and I'm going to just put dollar sign B dollar sign three times now we want the ending height and I can drag that down nice now we have to figure out the distance stretched and the elastic energy because that's what we actually want to plot now distance stretched up here from our system analysis I know the distance stretched is the starting height minus the ending height so I'm going to code that in. This is going to equal the starting height over here in E9 minus the ending height. And I'll go ahead and drag that down. Gravitational energy, or sorry, elastic energy, again from our system analysis, is the starting gravitational energy minus the ending. So I'll go ahead and code that. The starting gravitational energy is right here, minus the ending gravitational energy and drag that and we are done.